Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So a lot of you liked my last Let's Build a Capsule Wardrobe video and I love making them, so we're back with another episode. So after I posted my last video, my little sister reached out to me and asked if I would create a capsule wardrobe for her. And I said yes. So in my last Let's Build a Capsule Wardrobe video, I didn't create a full capsule wardrobe for my neighbor Colleen. We just went through a few pieces and this just helped get her started. In this video, my sister really wanted a full capsule wardrobe, and so that's exactly what we did. And so in this video, I really wanted to break down the process for you all. So I met my sister at her apartment, and the first thing we did was just sat down and I just asked her a few questions. This really helps me understand what her biggest problems are with her wardrobe, the things that she's looking for, so that as I'm creating her capsule wardrobe, I can make something that's really going to fit her style and her needs. So before we jump in and start making a capsule wardrobe, I just want to talk to you and just get an idea of what are the problems that you're having with your wardrobe and just talk about your style so we can make sure that we do a capsule wardrobe that's going to best fit you and what you need. So I guess my first question for you is why a capsule wardrobe? Um, I would like a capsule wardrobe because I don't have a lot of time in the morning to get ready, so it's nice to have, just have those things ready to just grab and put together and throw on. Um, I think most of the time I just grab the same outfit over and over again, and just being able to sort of put different outfits together from the things that I have. Also, like, I just find myself like not liking any of the clothes that I have and like wanting to go shopping and buy new things, but like don't necessarily have the money for that and don't really need to buy new things because I have a lot of clothes. So yeah. being able to like have new styles and put things together from my closet that quicker and easier than like going through the piles in my yeah. closet. So the thing with the capsule wardrobe is it's not a one size fits all and it's gonna look different for everyone. So I kind of just want to talk about what you do and how your clothes need to function for you based on like career and like your everyday life and things like that. So you wanna just go into detail about that? Yeah, so I'm a college student right now. Um, so a lot of my clothes are just casual and comfortable and things that I can just wear to school. Um, but I also am sort of starting to transition out of school. I'm graduating soon. And so I'm looking at doing internships and job interviews and that sort of thing. Um, and I'm, um, do I, I work in sort of media and social media sort of stuff, so in a more creative field, um, and so and so I don't need to look super like businessy, but mm -hmm. it's like more like business casual sort yeah. of things, yeah. And being able to combine like personality and being sort of like fun and creative, but still looking professional, yes. When, as you graduate and go into like the workforce, so yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, so I kind of have an idea of your style, but I just kind of want to hear from you, like what you think your style is and just sort of the things that you're drawn to or what you feel comfortable in mm -hmm. and like colors and patterns and things that you like, just so that we can get an idea as we move into making your capsule wardrobe. Yeah, definitely. So I love mom jeans is like my favorite <laughs> thing. Like yeah. basically every day outfit is like mom jeans and then a top on top, um, which is something that I love, but I kind of want to experiment with other things on the bottom as well yeah. um but for colors I like pink is like my, my favorite color okay. um and red and just more warm tone colors um I think uh, yeah I just yeah. like those so do you would you say that you're more like neutrals and you just like the sort of pop or do you like a lot of colors um I think I would like to like a lot of colors I think my style is more like neutrals with like a pop with a pop of color yeah. here and there um, but I do love color and you love color. I so get a little, I yeah. get a little scared of color. Okay. So but. being able to maybe play around with color and how we can add more and incorporate that into your wardrobe too. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. And then as far as patterns, I know there's some people who are like, I love all patterns. Mm -hmm. Some people are like, mm, give me solids. Mm -hmm. Um, for you, do you have like a certain pattern that you are sort of drawn to, or do you like all of them? Do you love mixing mm -hmm. patterns? Yeah. Or are you kind of afraid of pattern? Um, I like stripes. <laughs> I wear a lot of stripes. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not really too afraid of pattern. I don't have a lot of things currently that are like 
big, bold, crazy patterns. Yeah. A lot of them are more, like, simple, like, uh, like small floral patterns or stripes or polka dots, that sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So before we got there, I asked my sister to send me a Pinterest board that had just a few outfits that really represented her style. And I really like to see someone's Pinterest board before I start creating their capsule wardrobe because it just gives me better insight into the styles that they're loving. And I really like doing this because it helps give me an overall idea of what their ideal style and wardrobe looks like. And if you wanna see how I use my Pinterest to help me with my wardrobe, I have it linked up here. So looking through your Pinterest here, so um, one of the big things I noticed was the mom jeans and the graphic tees. There's mm -hmm. like a lot of that. Um, also with like this one where it was like a really cute like denim jacket with a little like mini skirt and some tennis shoes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like a sweater with like a denim jacket and some jeans. A lot of these like paper bag pants. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I like those In a there, a little like, you know, a skirt and a graphic tee. Um, and then kind of to the bottom, just like cute little like dresses and things like that yeah. but I think that's more my summary right <laughs> like, so yeah so stuff, toward the top definitely is a little bit more of that like more in-season stuff yeah um so just looking at it it's definitely very like that vintage trendy is yes. what I would yeah, describe I your style so. as so that's sort of the direction we'll move in as we make your capsule wardrobe and we'll just kind of use this as inspiration then yeah so after sitting down and talking for a few minutes, we went into her closet just to see what the problem areas were and the current state of her wardrobe. Uh, I have this clothes rack here. A lot of this is like stuff I wear more often or like nicer dresses and stuff that like this closet I've recently cleaned a lot of like random things out of. So now I actually have room in there for clothes, but I didn't have a lot of room for like my long dresses and things like that. Okay. So I left them out here. Okay. And just because they like looked nicer, I right. guess, yeah. on the clothes mm -hmm. rack, but it's kind of gotten like a lot of stuff on there. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have this closet in here. Okay. Um, and in there I have, this is like my t-shirts and jeans and workout clothes and pajamas in that like thing folded in the middle. Yeah. And then just like hoodies and stuff over there and then jackets and then like a couple of random, random things right there. Is it in there? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so I think the biggest issue I see is just that we're just kind of all over the place. Like, yeah. there's a lot of summer pieces that you probably aren't even wearing right now mm -hmm. um, mixed with, like, sweaters here. And then you have things that you don't wear out here and mm -hmm. things that you do wear in there. Mm -hmm. And we're just kind of all over the board. So yeah. I think if we can get everything that you're going to wear right mm -hmm. now onto this rack and maybe store some of the other things in your spare closet then mm -hmm. I think it'll just make getting ready so much easier for you yeah, in the morning so the first thing that I want to do because I know we want to actually make a full you know and I don't like to put a number on capsule wardrobe some people say 36 some people say 33 I don't like to put a number on it but I think if we can get around that like 30 pieces mm -hmm. that's not going to include any of your loungewear or active wear things like that but just mm -hmm. your main clothes I think if we can get it to around that 30 pieces have that here. Mm -hmm. That'll be something that you can play with for the next couple months and just get used to. And then you can start decluttering stuff a little easier. Yeah. So let's start by just decluttering this first. Okay. So let's just go through. I Let's do sort of my um, kind of step-by-step -step for uh, sort of figuring out the pieces that you want to stay. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to have you go through, just start on the end. And I just want you to pick up a piece and just look at it. And it's just an initial reaction of like, do I really like this? Does it even fit? Mm -hmm. When was the last time I wore it? Um, and if it's not something that you're going to wear, let's put that in the closet. Mm -hmm. We'll organize this later. Um, but if it's something that you love and are going to wear, let's get that on the bed. Okay. And then we can look at the clothes that are sort of laid out there and figure out where we need to fill in to make a capsule wardrobe that's mm -hmm. gonna be nice and mix and match for okay. you. So the biggest issue with her wardrobe was that there was just no organization. She had seasonal pieces, pieces that didn't fit her on her rack and in her closet, and there wasn't really a good space for her to put her clothes that she was currently wearing and loved. So the first thing that we needed to do was declutter. So I had her go through and get rid of any pieces that didn't fit, things that she didn't really love, and things that just weren't really her style and store any seasonal pieces that she wasn't going to be wearing this season. For my full process on how I declutter, I have a video for that too. 
So the next thing we did was lay out all of the pieces that she was keeping on her bed. This is really helpful because it helps you see holes in your wardrobe, pieces that you're missing, and give you a really good idea of your overall color palette and style. So now what I wanna do is, cause obviously there's holes, there's only yeah. 17 pieces here. Um, and obviously we have no pants or anything. <laughs> yeah. So now I wanna take what we have here, what was on your rack, and I wanna go into your other closet and let's fill in with other t-shirts, other shirts, mm -hmm. um, pants, and things like that so that we can create okay. more of a full mix and match wardrobe. Okay. So let's start with pants, obviously, because mm -hmm. we need pants. Um, so let's go pull um, jeans. Okay. So jeans, pants, I mean, just really honestly, messy. honestly, just start pulling. So these um, are things my that you favorite like. black jeans. I wear those like every day. Okay. These are my blue jeans. They're the same as those black jeans. Okay. <laughs> um, and then, ooh, I have these pants that yes. belt came up that I really like. They're like paper bags. Yes, which we talked about. You pants. had a lot of that on your on your Pinterest and yeah. stuff. I have another pair of I have these jeans that are like a paper bag waist, but like a denim. Okay. Yeah. And then we have two paper. Let's see. I have pants. Of course, my and overalls. Two pairs of jeans. I wear these a lot too. Love good pair of overalls. Uh huh. I think. Other than the pants that I'm wearing, Currently wearing. they're the only the pants that, the really pants wear. that I wear. Okay, yeah. great. Awesome. Which which is good. And you already kind of have the good a good basis for a capsule. It's not mm -hmm. like you have an over excess amount of clothes. And what's I think easy for you, you already yeah, have exactly. pieces that you like know and love. Like mm -hmm. you know you love this turtleneck and so you bought like three of it. Yeah. And like you know you love these jeans, you bought two of it. And honestly, mm -hmm. I think that's a great way to do it. Um, is if you know you love something, buy it in a few colors because you know you're gonna wear it. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a really good base here. Um, let's pull, because I know graphic t-shirts is like a base for you. Yeah. And what's great is you can throw it under a jacket. Um, put it with sweaters and all that kind of stuff. So let's go pull a couple shirts to kind okay. of fill in some of these. So next we sorted through all of her t-shirts and found the ones that fit her style and fit into her capsule wardrobe that she knew she was going to wear. And we came to a plaid shirt that she's kind of worn before. She didn't really love it, but she didn't know she wanted to get rid of it. Um, so if we kind of, now we can, and this is something, a great exercise to do and also why I love to lay stuff out is if you have a piece where you're like, oh, I've worn that before, um, you can take it and now we can sort of look at it mm -hmm. and see like, okay, is this something that I'm actually going to wear? Does it really fit yeah. into my capsule? So looking at it, and yeah, I don't know if it, I don't wear that a whole, like, I think I wouldn't wear as much as like the rest of those things there. Right, like if it wasn't in the picture, you wouldn't grab for it, you probably wouldn't miss it. Mm -hmm. Now, if this is something you're just gonna like, maybe you're not ready to get rid of it, you can hang on to it. Maybe mm -hmm. it's like a loungewear piece, like yeah. throw it over t-shirts when you're wearing sweatpants or things like that. Yeah. Um, but let's just, you know. Go camping, right. stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, right, things like that. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. We're still only at 26. Mm -hmm. A capsule is usually between like 33, 36 mm -hmm. items. So let's just go through your closet just a little bit, do a real quick rummage, mm -hmm. and just see if there's any pieces that you're like, oh my gosh, I love to wear this. Let's pull that out. Okay. If not, you don't need to have, you know, 36 pieces to, you know, mm -hmm. to have a really nice capsule wardrobe. Sounds good. So let's just go through and pull. Let's see. So we went through the rest of her wardrobe just to see if there are any pieces that she wanted to pull and add to her capsule wardrobe. And we decided that she didn't really like anything enough to add it to her capsule wardrobe. So in the end, we didn't end up with 36 pieces and that's really okay. A capsule wardrobe isn't about the number of pieces you have. Some people might need more than 36. Some people might just need less than 36 and that's okay. It's not about a number. It's about having pieces that really fit your style and pieces that you love in your wardrobe. Okay. Perfect. Well, let's work with this. I think this is a great place to start. So now that we have it sort of laid out and we've mm -hmm. seen what pieces work, let's get this stuff up onto your rack, mm -hmm. look at it as a whole, and then let's start playing with outfits and making sure that pieces can mix and match. Because if there's a piece in here that is just so hard to style that you're never gonna reach for it, mm -hmm. then it doesn't really need to be in your capsule wardrobe. Okay. Next, we got everything hung up on the rack. So for a capsule wardrobe, it's really important that you have a separate space for your clothing. Especially for a capsule wardrobe, it's really important that you keep your clothes separate from other pieces in your closet. Now, this doesn't have to be a clothing rack. You don't have to go out and purchase a clothing rack. I personally like using one, but this could be using just one half of a closet or another separate closet. You just want to make sure that these pieces are hung nicely together and not mixed in with everything else in your wardrobe. All right, so we 
have everything back up on the rack. Mm -hmm. It looks so much nicer. <laughs> yes, obviously. <laughs> do um, agree. And what's great is now we can see a very clear, distinct like color palette and style, mm -hmm. and we can already see that things are going to be able to mix and match. So mm -hmm. um, I went ahead and we got your jeans and everything hung up here as well. I like to just um, just fold them over. I used to do it where I would keep it separate, like in a drawer, but there's something nice about literally Everything. just having what you need on this rack. And then you can really easily just like pull pieces and create an outfit. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we have um, jeans and your overalls and pants on this side, moving to t-shirts, your turtlenecks, thinner sweaters, chunkier knit sweaters, and then into like your dresses and jackets here on the end. Mm -hmm. So next was the fun part. We just put together a couple pieces to see how everything mixed and matched. So I always like to start with a basic go-to outfit, and this is usually jeans and a t-shirt, but it could be whatever a good staple outfit is for you. All right. So this is sort of like your go-to outfit, mm -hmm. right? It's like yeah. a graphic tee and a mom jeans is what you're like super comfortable in. Yeah. So this is a great place to start. And again, you have several t-shirts to go from, which are easily mix and match. Um, and then you also have your black jeans, which you can switch out. So um, one day it might be blue jeans, one day it might be black jeans, um, and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So to add a layer, you can add your cardigan. This is that kind of like that cutesy, like, felt like a, vin like, like a vintage librarian kind of a look yeah. with like your glasses and stuff. You can throw a cardigan on. Um, I wonder too if you, and this um, this definitely would look really cute with um, the white mm -hmm. the white graphic. So I think I think the white obviously is going to work. I think mix and match a little bit better, but mm -hmm. like then throwing on a blazer over top to make it something that's just a little bit more dressy mm -hmm. instead of being you know like a sweater or something. Um, so that's kind of your easy mix and match pieces. Now I wanted Maddie to try on some outfits just to see how versatile her new capsule wardrobe was. I really suggest you do this step because it's going to give you an idea of the different outfits that you can create with your wardrobe and it's just a chance for you to be creative. I also suggest taking photos of the outfits that you create and saving them on your phone so that if you're ever feeling like you're not sure what you want to wear in a day you can go back and reference those photos to give you outfit inspiration. Cue the montage! feeling about this as a whole? Like, how has this experience been? Are you feeling better about your wardrobe? Yeah, I definitely am feeling like more relieved about it. I think we got it to a nice place where I can just kind of grab things off the rack and not have to like scramble through my closet to find mm -hmm. the things that I want to wear. And it takes a lot of less time out of like getting ready in the morning. Yeah. And I also think too, it's just, I think it's more creative the less pieces that you have you get to mix and match more and working with less 
again, you're not stuck doing the same outfit because now you have all these different options to play with. And so you can be more creative with your mm -hmm. style, I think, as well. Yeah. So awesome. Well, thank you for letting me come and, yes, you know. Thank you for helping me out. So now that we've finished creating her cups of wardrobe, I want to summarize a few things that you can take away from this video. Number one, store seasonal pieces. It makes it so much easier to see what you have in your wardrobe and what you can wear so you don't have just one big rack or closet full of all of your clothes. Number two, lay all of your pieces out. This is going to give you a really good idea of your overall color scheme and give you an idea of the pieces that you are missing so that as you create your capsule wardrobe, you know what you're looking for and what you need to add. Number three, make sure you try pieces on, create looks, have fun, and take photos so that you can save those outfits for when you need them later. Thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe. I love getting to make videos that really inspire and encourage you to not only create a capsule wardrobe, but really make your life simpler. I love getting to hear from all of you, so please leave a comment and let me know what your style is. And on your way out, don't forget to hit that like button. All right, we'll see you next time.